just a quick reminder guys, these narrations are best enjoyed with headphones on. Mm, what is up everyone, this time we review the latest addition to Sega's series of management games. Can this game graduate with a bachelor's degree, even honours? Or is this game going to be a first year dropout? Let's find out. The history of the Two Point Theory started out in the late 1980s early 90s when British based developer Bullfrog Productions released Populous, released on the 5th of June 1989, published by Electronic Arts. Back then, Electronic Arts had an excellent reputation with the general public. Unbelievable, I know, but true. By the way guys, fun fact, did you know that Bullfrog Productions was co-founded by Peter Molyneux, head of Lionhead Studios? I don't know, um, Lionhead Studios made some uh, random open world RPG exclusively for the Xbox. Bullfrog went on what be recognised the first management game theme park, released in June 1984. The game was ported to various consoles including the Nintendo DS. The company then takes the idea, mechanics and quirkiness sent to a hospital setting with Theme Hospital, released on the 20th of March 1987. Today, Theme Hospital was themed as an all-time classic PC game in the pre-Windows era. Unfortunately, the company ceased to exist as a separate entity in 2001, as Peter Molyneux left the company, leaving to be merged into EA UK. After that, its franchises went dark. However, in 2016, a renaissance sparked as two employees, Mark Webley and Gary Carr, founded Two Point Studios which be quickly became a subsidiary of SEGA. The first game they released was the spiritual successor to The Legendary Theme Hospital, released on the 30th of August 2018. The game was then ported to consoles on the 25th of February 2020. My review of Two Point Hospital can be found either in the blog post or in the video's description. This particular game is the spiritual successor to the aforementioned Two Point Hospital, you play the part of the director of Two Point University. It is up to you to design, expand your campuses, hire staff, and manage the courses you provide, and overall student satisfaction as you strive to become the best university in the country. The accessibility scores are as follows. Like to kick off the first trimester of visibility and give it seven. There are no basic accessibility features present in the options menu, for example, like other line have but in all situations slash management games there is very little need for them. There are no colour coded elements that can cause an issue for a colorblind player. Also there is no feature present to customise the font size and the subtitles in menu, apart from the UI scale on the PC version. This puts a player with visual impairments at risk of gaining eye strain, especially in a menu heavy game, for example a management sim. Apart from that, a player with a visual impairment should be able to play this game with minimal issues. Next up on the lesson plan, audibility, give it 10. There is a subtitle function that which can be enabled and disabled via the game section of the options menu. In this game, all dialogue is subtitled, even the PA announcers, humorous dialogue, for example. Students are confused. No, you cannot have an extension. Ah oh well, can't blame a student for trying, eh? So a player with hearing impairment should be able to play this game with minimal to no issues. Next up, mobility has got a sky high 11. Unlike its predecessor, Two Point Hospital, this game has full controller support out of the box. Playing a management game, for example, Football Manager or a city builder like Tropical feels a lot more comfortable when you're playing with a controller. However, if you want to go full on vanilla, i.e. theme hospital, you can use a mouse and keyboard. The game also has hotkeys which can be customised fully. This gives players with mobility impairments more of a choice in which peripheral they would like to use to play the game. Full controller support even on a PC game can be a deal breaker for a mobility impaired player. So this game can be easily played by players with mobility impairments. And last but certainly not least, gameplay gave it 10. This game feels like an upgraded version of Two Point Hospital. As I said earlier in this review, 
The full controller to port out to the ports feels like a breath of fresh air, and management sim or city builder feels like perfect candidates for strategy games with full controller support. To me, playing with a controller is the most comfortable option to play this game. The campaign gets you familiar with the mechanics and every uh, factor that you'll be managing during your stay at Two Point Campus. After which, you can jump into the game sandbox mode to build the university of your dreams. On top of that, there is multiplayer leaderboards to keep you playing as your university becomes. And similarly, Two Point Campus is probably one of, if not the best management game that I have played in a while. Although the content is somewhat lacking now, the developers will be adding more and more content as time goes on. If you have the time and patience for a management sim, this game is on Xbox Game Pass. Don't knock it till you try it. And the overall score is a top of the class 95%. Before I go, I think it's time for an open question. 343 Industries has decided to can split screen multiplayer in their recent game Halo Infinite. Now guys, what do you think about this? Should split screen multiplayer split up and face down due to the rise of online gaming? Or should one of the most basic principles of multiplayer gaming be preserved forever? Let me know down in the comments. See you guys in the next review of Spartan Command in 1988. Roll like Spartan Legion. Yeah.